dwell on myself. I'm happy this Father's Day because I'm, I'm thinking about like the change that has happened uh, as far as my father. Amen. And um, I'm just happy because he's in better health. He's talking to me. I remember one time my father wasn't much on talking to people unless you know he had had drinks or was drunk or something. I thank God because now you know he calls me and talks to me even though I can't call him sometimes. He just calls me like, hey, you going to work today? And I say, yeah. He say, all right, I'll talk to you later. But, I mean, it's a change. It's different. And I thank God for allowing my father to still be here. Because we have all, I mean, abused our bodies and not taken care of our temple. But I thank God for grace and mercy. And like I said um, a couple weeks ago, I'm also thankful because my dad no longer smokes, he no longer drinks. And I'm just thankful, you know, I don't, I don't know how much time that me and my dad has, you know, but I'm thankful because with this new change in my dad, I feel like, you know, it's like starting over. I almost feel like a little boy again. I'm, I'm also grateful and thankful that, you know, he asks, he calls me to ask, but he calls and asks me to do little things for him, like just putting in a shower head or something like that. Or I'm able to go and cut his head sometime, you know, that's that's just a good thing. And the crazy part is like the more I live, the more I see my father and myself. Yeah. Like like I'm reminded now, like when my father would go to the place where his dad was living and cut his hair. Yeah. You know, um, when he couldn't do it anymore, and you know, when he would just sit there and talk to him and have to help him up and help help him walk around and get around, and I'm I'm, I'm seeing that, you know, you know, between me and my dad, the same way it was with him is that, and I'm just grateful to be able to, you know, do it. I'm thankful because my father also he taught me how to be a man. That's one thing I can say, you know. Um, and I thank God for that because I had a mother who was in church and a father who really didn't, but I learned that it's good to get a glimpse of both sides. Like my father gave me, I mean, my mother gave me my sense as far as, you know, God and, you know, church and everything like that, but my father gave me my street sense and I'm thankful for it because, I mean, I use both of them, but when I, when I use both of them together, it causes me to be able to go anywhere, like anywhere in Baltimore. Like I can, I really feel like I can walk the streets of Baltimore anywhere, whether it's north, east, south, west, and be perfectly fine. And throughout my whole life, when I've been in situations where I had to walk the streets of Baltimore, I've always come across somebody I've known from one point in my life or another. And I thank God for that because even though my dad might not be the churchy, you know, just a bigger type. I thank God because God still used him to, you know, instill things in me that God wanted to be in me. That's it.